Hello guys, welcome back and hope you all are doing good. So today's video topic is if you are facing this kind of error, no audio output device is installed. So if you are getting audio related issues and you are getting this kind of error line, in this video we are going to fix this. So let's start with our first step. So right click on the speaker icon, right click on it, then click on troubleshoot sound problems. So this will run the troubleshooter and try to fix the audio related issues. So click on this option. So this will try to identify the problem. So wait for a few minutes. This will take some time. So after waiting for a few minutes, uh, this will show you the result. So as you can see the result high definition audio driver is disabled. So I will click on this option. Now there are two options apply this fix or skip the fix. So I will go for this option apply this fix and after that you have to restart your system to finish the installation of drivers and updates. So I will click on this option apply this fix. Click on next. Now you will get this final result problem found your PC must be restart. So click on close. And after that restart your system and this will fix the issue. Now move on to the next method, next tip if you are still getting the same issue. Check your audio driver. So right click on windows icon. Then click on this option device manager. So this will show you all the drivers you have in your system. So click on this option sound video game controller. And here you can see this is my audio driver. So if the driver is disabled, you can see the disabled icon, disabled logo. So first enable your audio driver. So right click on it, then click on enable device. And here you can see now my speaker is showing without any error. Now I can increase or decrease the volume. But if you are still getting the same issue, update your audio driver so right click on your audio driver device right click on it then click on update driver then click on browse my computer then click on let me pick from now select the high definition audio device then click on next so this will install the high definition audio device and this will fix the error move on to the next method next step if you are still getting the same issue right click on the speaker icon then click on this option sound. Now you will get this kind of sound window. Click on the first tab playback. So this is my audio driver. Right click on it. And if this is disabled like this. So enable it. Okay. And after that right click on it. Go to properties. Now click on the second tab levels. And if this speaker is disabled from here like this. You can enable it. Uh, and you can also increase or decrease your speaker volume from here as well. After that click on enhancement tab. Now if you are getting low volume from your headphone or your speaker you can increase the volume by uh, clicking on this option loudness equalization. So if you are getting low volume simply tick this option enable this option loudness equalization then click on apply. So this will increase or boost your speaker or your headphone volume. Click on OK. Now move on to the next method. Again right click on the speaker. Then click on this option. The first the top option. Open sound settings. Click on it. Scroll down and click on this option. App volume and device preferences. And after that click on reset. Okay. Reset then restart your system and in the most cases this will help you to fix the issue. Now move on to the final method if you are still getting the same issue. Check your audio services. So for this you have to first open the windows services. So click on the windows icon. In the search box type service. Click on this services option. So these are the windows services you have in your system. Now you have to search for windows audio services. So this is a service we need windows audio. 
or right click on it go to properties in the startup type select automatic click on ok now restart this service right click on it then click on restart so this will restart this particular service after that select the second service windows audio endpoint builder right click on it go to properties in the startup type make sure the option is selected as automatic and after that restart this service as well right click on it then click on restart so that's it restart both the services and after that restart your system as well so this will fix the audio related issues this is all for the video thank you